Fresh. Fits my vibe. Fucking switch or nothing, dude. It's like Nerf. If anybody is ever wondering why their car's not done, and they're wondering, you know, hey, why is it taking so long? This is... You need my gloves, you ass. I need these. <laughs> Take over by fucking broke dick mini truckers. <laughs> so I feel pretty much right at home there. I just wanted to, I was gonna fucking wash just a giant dick in the side of this thing. So you guys have to drive around with a giant dick on the side. <laughs> 15 miles to the gallon on 91. Again, you guys gotta follow them on their uh, socials. They do something called Whip Check Wednesdays, which is like my new favorite thing on socials right now. Hi, I'm Chris in Relax Atmosphere. This is Whip Check Wednesday. It's a 1963 Datsun NL320. The engine is out of a Nissan 240SX or a K24E like all the kids call them. The transmission's out of the same car. The rear end is stock 1963 Datsun. The front is a custom cross member based off Mustang 2 geometry, just smaller. Okay. I built custom A-arms top and bottom. The rear is a back half frame. It's got triangulated four link airbags. 
airlift bags and it has an airlift 3p for brakes the front are nissan hard body it has nissan hard body spindles and disc brakes okay. and the rear is the stock drum the wheels are 18 and 20 inch centerline smoothies i painted the centers and i got cap clips for them and then i have hubcaps that were from the 1970s oh, shit. made in brazil and i bought them from a guy in peru they were new old stock oh, wow. the body is pretty much all factory stock other than the fenders were two piece so i welded up seams on the top of the fenders okay and there's a fuel cell in the back of the bed now underneath the back of the bed now the and so i shaved the gas door other than that the body is 100 percent stock like it came the interior was done by a company called holcomb's upholstery in aberdeen washington i wanted something that looked like it came in a 60s deluxe model so i tried hard to make it look factory for audio i have a retro sound head to unit that okay kind of looks stock but gives me the modern mp3 i debuted it at lst in texas about three years ago since okay. then i've taken it to oregon uh, nevada washington and i live in boise idaho so oh, shit. lots and lots of local shows around yeah. boise idaho the boise roadster show i've taken it to i've been working on it off and on for about 12 years now mostly because it's about one of a thousand ever produced mm -hmm. and it's very very hard to find parts hard, for, for sure. so i bought this one sight unseen about 12 years ago and then about six years ago i bought another one off of ebay oh wow sight unseen again but i saw pictures of both times and i used those two to build this one and then slowly had to hunt trim down and parts from all around the world thailand australia peru all, all over after i first got it i put a patina style paint job on it okay. and then put my shop logo on the doors okay. because i had my own business at the time and we would move it in and out of the shop for advertisement. Nice. So when it came time to do this, a friend of mine suggested that I should leave the bottom of the hood, the old patina style paint like it was so people would know what truck it was, right. people that knew. So yeah, it's kind of one of those things that's a conversation piece now because yeah. people either know that it was that truck and recognize it or people ask, why is the bottom yeah, of the hood right like now. that? Or they want to know what's the kanji symbols mean on uh -huh. the bottom of it, which means wabi-sabi, and, and that is the beauty of finding art and imperfection. Special thanks, I'd like to thank Jeff Reed, Danny Strain, Jose Ortiz, Jason Leckbold, Paul St. Cyr, my wife, Michelle, and all the other people that have lent a hand over the years in the build. Yeah. Doctor's gonna love my sugar level. <laughs>
Just here for the gloves, man. Oh, just here for the gloves? I heard they're my size anyway. Small, extra small. No, they're for grown-ups. Oh, man. Look at that, dude. See, they don't even fit. You got little bitch hands. <laughs> got some free gear from the guys at Tycon. Sent some more gloves. They saw my hands and they, they didn't want me to break a nail. Man, I feel like I should get into the fuck, get into a NASCAR with these motherfuckers. They're making a left turn. <laughs> Much left, dude, when you think about it. <laughs> that guy. Hey, you wanna go home with me tonight? You know, some guys are just not secure enough to eat a hot dog. Welcome to this old house. Sit on the ground and you jump on it. Oh, no shit. <laughs> it's like the old Nintendo fucking power pad. Where did you get that? Like a drop spin. Dude, that's new old stock from down the road. Is it really? Mm -hmm. Now I'm like way under there. I have to get it later. It's like it's raining over here. I'm about to trade yeah. the, change the jar in, and it's usually about $180, and it, it does it in about nine to 10 months. So I use it for camping trip, I don't know. Doing a little better. All right. <laughs> 